Hello everybody, I'm Ivor Abbott. Today's a big day. Some new Moza Racing hardware. And for all you console people, this is a big deal. So we're going to get into this. The new R3 wheel and pedal combo. Xbox compatible. Which is licensed with Xbox. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just find the description box below. Let's dive in to this package. So big thank you to Moza Racing for sending this out. So for all my console users, this is clutch for you guys because, well, Moza has a direct drive wheel system for you guys, and we're going to get into it right here today. Of course, it's the new R3 wheel system. You know, we got everything in there. We're going to go full and take a look at what's in the box. We're going to put the box on the table because off the table because of room purposes. But of course, the first thing we do have is the wheel that comes in the kit, the ES wheel with the Xbox and buttons and everything like that. So we're going to take a quick look at this first. And of course, we have some nice rubberized texture there. Of course, we're going to do the satisfying peel off there. We're going to get rid of that. So we do have the ES wheel with, of course, the Xbox buttons and the Xbox and we do have the quick release setup. Take that sticker off. Something we do with all Mozo equipment. So this ES wheel, it's very similar to the ES that came with the R5. So I'm almost positive it's the same style setup and everything like that. So I'm sure this wheel upgrade on the ES that I have, the larger wheel, is going to fit. Of course, we're going to try that. You know, I'm not going to tell you any information that is not correct. So we're going to test the larger wheel on this xbox wheel but for sake of today we're going to be taking a look at of course the wheel that comes in at the es with the xbox buttons and everything it's very similar and very textile like the es wheel tactile and of course we have the quick release and everything like that small i believe it's 280 millimeter wheel so we do have a nice solid wheel the nice rubberized texture on there Good button feels and everything like that with, of course, the Xbox button. That's really the only difference is the button combination stuff that I'm seeing from the other ES wheel. So that is the wheel that comes with the new Xbox bundle. And then, of course, we get into the goods of the kit. The wheelbase itself, you know, Moza Racing decides to get even smaller as they go on. So the R3 is definitely a very nice looking wheelbase. It's extremely small, but we have the you know, traditional quick release system, everything that Moza is known for. Do the but we do have traditions, you know, for pedals, dash, shifter, handbrake. An emergency stop and everything on here and it looks like it's the same so i keep saying they keep getting smaller but i love the styling of the x on the front of this i don't know if that was something they when they designed it or decided to design it like that it looks like the x since it's the xbox wheel but you can see how small that is and you compare it to the r5 which was the smallest wheel that i had so far it's even smaller than the r5 so they keep getting smaller, but of course, you know, it, this only having, you know, 3.9 newton meters worth of feedback and, you know, the R5 and 5, it's, it's understandable that's slightly smaller, but of course, same quality as all the other wheelbases, the aircraft grade aluminum and nice styling. Can't, you know, wait to actually test this thing out. So, in of course, in the box, along with all of that, you do get the uh, clamp for a desk, which we're probably not going to be utilizing the clamp. We're going to probably be utilizing uh, bolts on the bottom, which are probably the same. We're going to take a look at that once we start getting it on the rig. But we have the bolts for that that we're going to bolt into our next level light chassis. We're going to put the wheel over there, too. So we do have that. But it also comes, of course... with pedals now these are the light pedals 
just like, I believe, identical to what come in the R5 kit. So we do have the twin pedal setup. And like I said, I believe this is identical to the uh, R5 pedals. So it does have partitions for you to put the brake dampener and everything in there, which of course we're going to do since we have it. And basically the same pedals that are in the R5, they're SP light pedals. So that's definitely awesome. We have pedals and everything in this bundle. And for the price, you're getting everything you need in a direct drive setup that is console and PC compatible. A nice wheel, and of course, this really tiny, nice base. But we're gonna have to get this on a chassis and actually go full send with it. So, of course, we're dusting off the old Xbox to run this in on console. So, make sure you guys uh, check out all the links for everything down below. If you guys want to pick up your own, everything will be down below. This is super exciting to see them jump into the console game. So we're gonna go full stand with this. We're gonna get it on a chassis and see what we can do. All right, so we do, do have the new R3 mounted up on our next level GT Lite Pro chassis. Hi, Bubbies. Hey, you, what you doing? What you doing down there? Hi, Bubbies. So we do have it mounted up. We do have the brake damper installed on the pedals. Ignore all the wiring and everything. It's just kind of set up. We do have the Xbox hooked up on our chassis so we're gonna go full send and give this wheel a shot she's ready to uh go apparently she's got her uh toy she's ready to take on this new wheel setup so we're gonna switch over to the game cam and go full send all right so we are here in forza motorsport 7 had to bring back the old school where everything all started for me here on the xbox so we're in a random race we are at burmese alps and we're just gonna go full send and get first impressions of this wheel so we are, like I said, we are on our GT Lite Pro chassis from Next Level Racing with the R3 and the pedals. And we're just gonna go full send. So first initial I noticed that the uh, steering wheel's not entirely centered, but that's probably something we gotta go into the computer to check. I haven't been on Forza in forever. And we're just bouncing off everybody. We feel like we're in Forza. But first impressions of the feedback, there's a lot of force feedback. You know, I was wondering how it was gonna feel you know, with it being 3.9, but there's a lot of feeling. I feel like way more feeling than I'm used to feeling when I used to play Forza on like my G920 and everything like that. But overall, I just plugged it right in and it worked right away. Not a big deal. Oh, we're gonna cut off there, you jerk. There's a lot of feedback as you can see. Surprisingly how much actual feedback there is. Like I said, we are just in a random race. We're just going full send to get the first initial feels. But plugging it in and it all just working. This super nice little slide there. You know we're going to go full send drifting here in the next episode. So if you guys want to see this wheel in action drifting here on Forza. Make oh, I mean we're pulling the Forza game there. Make sure you guys... Uh, tap that subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Hit the bell notification so you can get the notification when the video comes out initially. But it is super fun to be back here on the Xbox with some Moza gear. Moza definitely uh, coming in clutch. As you can see, the steering is not perfectly centered. I feel like I need to plug it in the computer and recenter everything in order to uh, maybe, or if I got to look in the instructions if there's a way to recenter it without having to plug it into a PC. But I'm gonna to want to get firmware and everything updated as well. So, but overall, this wheel feels super nice, and it makes for a very pleasant experience. Super impressed with how this is. Oh, jeez, don't let it go. With how this is feeling here, a big thank you to Moza Racing for sending this out. It's kind of great to be back on the console. So we got some console games we're gonna try on my Xbox. We are just on a standard Xbox One, nothing special, no Xbox One S or anything like that or X. This is just a standard Xbox One with uh, Forza Motorsport 7. So like I said, I plugged it right in and it automatically recognized itself. Didn't need to do anything. It just automatically started working. The game already knew what buttons to you know, pair for handbrake and stuff like that since we are just running two pedals and a handbrake, or no handbrake, the handbrake's on B. But overall, we're actually uh, doing quite well in this race. 
Way better than I thought we are going to go. Oh, no. As I say that, we go head on into the wall. We're going to have to tap, uh, tap a little handbrake coming up here and see how that works. Oh. This car's got a lot of understeer, but we got a little slide. You know we're going to have to do a full... A full drift episode with this wheel. I went to go grab a handbrake, which is not there. <laughs> we gotta do a full drift episode with this, bringing back some of the old drift cars that I used to run in the SDA here on Forza 7. Some of the ones I used to run in the S SRS series and stuff like that back when I was with the usual suspects. I'm trying to drift this last corner. Ran out of gear. I mean, we're there. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> so, we're going to go full send drifting on the next episode here. So, make sure you guys subscribe so you guys can see the video when it comes out. Once again, a big thank you. A little drift here, too. Big thank you to Moza Racing for sending this out to me. I mean, we're killing it. We kind of got a good slide going. Oh, man. We're going to go full send with drift in the next episode. So as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.